Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Abigail here. We're going to be continuing to talk some more about prayer. And today, the prayer that we're talking about, sometimes a little bit uncomfortable to do. It's not always something that I want to pray about, but it's really important. And it's called a prayer of lamentation. Can you say that? Lamentation is when we have a really heaviness in our emotions. And our emotions are things that we feel, whether it be sadness, anger, just being overwhelmed by emotions that don't feel good. And lamentation, that's when it's like all these emotions are so heavy on you and you just have to get them out. You have to share them. And you can share them with God through prayer. And so before we get started reading our lesson, I want you guys to do something. John Harrison and I made this before the video, and it's just a Ziploc bag with shaving cream and some food coloring in it. And so we made it like this and squeezed a lot of air out. John Harrison doesn't like the way that shaving cream feels on his hands. And so we made this so that that way he can still do the activity. Because what we're going to do is while I read this lesson and we talk about it, anytime I talk about an emotion, you guys are going to make the face that goes with that emotion. So if you're feeling happy, what's your face do? If you're feeling sad, what's your face do? If you're feeling mad, and so you can use your finger on this shaving cream to make those faces. Now, if you are okay with how shaving cream feels, just spray some onto a plate and you can do it straight on there. You can also do it a little bit less messy with maybe some dried rice or dried beans or something like that. But if you guys, if any of y'all don't like the way those things feel, you can just use something like this. And so if you wanna pause the video real quick and get something to make your smiling faces and sad faces on, if you want, you could even get a piece of paper and a crayon to do it. So get something to get those faces of emotions ready, okay? So now that you're ready to show those emotions, I'm gonna read. And this is in Psalm 13. And so this first verse, it has a sad face to it. So make a sad face while I read it to you. How long, Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Now this verse two, it has a worried face. Can you make a worried face? How long will I store up anxious concerns within me? Agony in my mind every day. How long will my enemy dominate me? Now this face, this is a sad face like you've been forgotten. And so maybe draw a mind where you can't remember a question mark. Consider me and answer me, my Lord. Restore brightness to my eyes. Otherwise, I will sleep in death. Now this one, this is if you're defeated that someone just beat you in something. So can you draw a face like you're sad you just lost a game? My enemy will say, I have triumphed over him and my foes will rejoice because I am shaken. Ooh, that's a lot of emotions. And most of those don't feel very good in our heart. But don't worry, David ends it with these two. You make a face that you feel hearing these words, but I have trusted in your faithful love, O God. My heart will rejoice in your deliverance. I will sing to the Lord because he has treated me generously. What face did you draw? Did you draw a happy face? Maybe an excited face? All of those emotions are in these six little verses. Happy, sad, angry, alone, ignored, defeated, shaken even, worried. And David gave them all to God, showed God all of his emotions. So right now, I'm going to get my helper to come on up here. And we're going to show you all a little something. Come on up here, John Harrison. Yeah, oh look, we got a, we got a visitor with us. Well, you know what? He's a good one to have up here. Can you tell everybody what his name is? Strong. Strong. And we're going to try and build a bridge that is strong. So he is perfect to have up here. Tell everybody your name. John Harrison. Good morning, everybody. What's so, John Harrison and I, we are going to try and see if we can make a strong bridge. And it's got to be really strong because we have ugh, lots of heavy rocks. We'll do strong last deal. And so we have these rocks here. Now, each of these rocks represents an emotion. So what could that one be? Maybe is that could be mad. Or you could have rocks that mean worry or even happiness. 
that lives happiness for the All right, don't don't do it yet. So we're gonna start with this paper. This is as if, this is your bridge as if you're trying to do all the emotions by yourself. Okay? So this is if you keep all the emotions just to yourself and don't share them with anybody. So can you put one of the emotions on? Uh oh. That didn't work too well. Alright, so that didn't work though, did it? That wasn't a good bridge. Alright, so this yellow one. We're going to pretend that this is if you share your emotions with friends or maybe even your mom and dad. Alright, move your hands. All right, set the rock on there in the middle. All right, well, it's holding it okay. So let's put another rock on there and see. So it's got the emotion of maybe, maybe this is happiness. That's and a good this one is Maddie. Ma Maddie. Da -da 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 well, you got to put it in the middle where the bridge is holding it, okay? Mommy. Let go. Uh-oh. That bridge didn't work out too well. Bobby, don't so let, let's see the last one. we got to do our block first. And so we have our block here. This is whenever you share your emotions with God. And he helps you with them. And this is mad. That's mad. Wait, let's do one that It held, held pretty good. Let's see how many more we can fit up. How many rocks can we fit on there, John Harrison? So as John Harrison showed us, this part of the bridge, when we let God help us with our emotions, this is the strong one. Maybe you're happy or mad, or grumpy, maybe you're sad, maybe you have joy. Whoop. All of these emotions, guess what? God can handle them. God can take them. He made them. And so what God wants you to do is he wants you to give them to him through prayer. And that's what a prayer lamentation is. It's just sharing all of those with God and letting God help you through them. Now, our yellow one was talking about if you had your friends and family help you with them. And you saw it held more than when you did it by yourself. So it's a good thing, and you need to talk to other people, especially your mommy and daddy, about emotions that you're feeling. But God uses your mom and dad to help you through emotions. And so by working with God, being you'll be able to carry those and give those to Him, and your parents can help you with them. And so a prayer of lamentations is giving all of those things that you feel that are hard and are good back to God. I love you guys, and I know emotions are crazy. Sometimes we don't understand them. But I'm so grateful that God does and that he is faithful. So let me close this in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for everything that you have given us. Thank you that you are a wonderful God and that you take care of us. You are great and faithful. In your name I pray. Amen. I love you guys and hope to see you soon.